So if you really want to enjoy relativity, uh, just not going through the hard mathematical part, this would be a, a very good book. It's uh, relatively, it looks like a funny book, but I can tell you this is a nice book which explains relativity. So this is the book, how it looks like, uh, Relativity, Introducing Relativity. So... This video is presented to you by General Relativity Explained. So uh, here the book goes. So it first starts with some, you know, beautiful figures of, uh, you know, the uh, falling of this apple. You can see this is Newton's classical uh, laws of physics. You turn the book and then it shows the law of gravity. Again, this is not a book which is absolutely for serious leaders or those who wants to go to the mathematical part of uh, physics, but this is you know, okay kind of a book which you can just go through that. And nice little cartoons and figures. And this is Nicholas Copernicus. And then, you know, it further, uh, you know, shows examples of Max Maxwell's theory, right? So electromagnetism is being covered and you can see these equations of electromagnetism. This is the electromagnetic wave, electric and the magnetic wave going through that. <clears throat> the problems in terms of classical physics. So what was that? So here you see Einstein you know, uh, delving deep into the problems of the perihelion and then there's a shift and then the puzzle of the atom. So the quantum realm here and the uh, macroscopic realm, this is being, you know, dealt. Then there was a major mystery that this is where uh, Planck and Schrodinger really comes in. These figures, I mean, to say these are fantastic. You really, really need to applaud that person, the, the artist who has drawn those. So the modern background here comes in and then the decisive events, the world war ends and the nuclear bombs dropped in Hiroshima due to E equals to MC square. And then the, the time of motion followed by Kurt Gödel. So he is also here and there's a contradiction in terms of relativity. So you can see here Bertrand Russell and A invited. Then comes the Lorentz transformation. This, this is your transformation where a path to special relativity. The transformation happens, the effect of length contraction. Uh, this is the all the all the all the observing of muons, the decay of muons, the time dil dilation, and then here you can see here is the energy is mass and the mass energy equivalence uh, followed by <coughs> you know this photon is is a particle. So the, this is a nice book. I mean to say you can further go into this. You see, at one time when I read, I, I just a special uh, relativity. It deals with that. equivalence principle, and here you see it's a nice depiction, isn't it? The slicing of space time. If I can just uh, let me zoom it so that things become a little bit clearer, right? Okay, so here you see that there's a slicing of space time is being done over here, and then uh, the suspending gravity, uh, this is the Einstein thought experiment, and then the equivalence principle, right? So the uh, then it further goes into extending Newton's first law, and then the light cone. You see this the time like, the negative, the equal to, and the positive. This this is nice. And you see, this is quite clear and absolutely, you know, you can just uh, have a fun, uh, fun tour of, uh, you know, and here you see the Pythagorean theorem, how it behaves in a, a flat space time, vis-a-vis -vis how it behaves in the curved space time. So the geodesics and the metric are being covered. And most importantly, this is a nice depiction of the concept of geodesics, really. And you can have a look onto how it looks like the geodesics and the metric, right? And then you come further uh, and go into how do we find the metric? So you see this is the, this is the bumpy space, uh, the, the, the same concept, and here it comes, uh, ds squared, that famous uh, metric. The space-time geodesic is being covered, then you include the time, so the time-like pulse, and then the missing ingredient. Then here comes the concept of Kahili tensor. This is all uh, dealt quite clearly. This is, I think, one of the best part of the book is that you see the second order tensor, how beautifully it has been written. This is this is really the stuff which you really need to look at it. Second order tensor and how the third order tensor, how it really, uh, you know, uh, works on the indices part. Uh, I, I mean to say, uh, let us not uh, let us not undermine because of this characters that this book is all into. But this is really a book. And then you see the four dimensional. Uh, my part, the Einstein field equations, how it is written and how people uh, of the illustrations. 
it further goes, I mean, to say it is, it is quite a good book, The Eclipse. This is the uh, deflection of uh, Eddington's experiment. The bending of uh, uh, light is being covered. The space time, space and time versus space time. So you here you can see that that how Einstein's when they unite space and time to space time how it really happens. So this is how it is. This is nice. These are this is really wonderful. So the curves made up the multitude. This is how the curve space time the metric is being arranged. Further you can see this is uh, equivalence principle, and then yeah here comes Stephen Hawking, uh, scientist of my generation. And then comes the black hole part, and this is. Uh, Schwarzschild radius and the Carl Schwarzschild's, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the famous Schwarzschild radius 2gm upon c squared. And then this is time varying acceleration of electromagnetic waves, stargazing. It covers a lot. Einstein static universe, the second model, the third model. This is this, this is basically the Friedman model. They're talking about the critical density in the Friedman model. How was the fate of the universe? And finally, it uh, uh, goes into singularity theorems, where the collapse of black hole, as uh, Stephen Hawking finds it uh, quite. Uh, so these are the these are the these are the Goldilocks expansion rate, the further uh, satellite probes, and finally it ends around extending <laughs> Einstein's dream, adding more dimensions into string theory. So what I can tell you that uh, more or less this is a nice book. Uh, let us not undermine because of its. Uh, it is how many pages? It's around 170. Right, but right. The, the illustrations will make you feel really good. The illustrations are really, uh, I would say, uh, very descriptive in order to get a concept of the understanding of relativity. This is something and also very, contains very the mathematics. You can Why? see here the triangles in curved space. Uh, this is the differential geometry, the non Euclidean geometry. It has been uh, depicted very clearly, very clearly. So you can see that. Uh, as you may say, they don't hold between the spaces curved, and this is this is how it happens. So uh, this is a very good book. Most importantly, the binding is absolutely fine. The pages are really really hard. The pages are really hard, and so it is. It is a good book. I think uh, it is a good book to start with with relativity. I will cover up more. I have got few more books on this graphic guide. Nice uh, paperback book, uh, not costing much. I don't have the amount guide. Uh, if you want to go through the basics of relativity, just through uh, photographs and get a good concept, uh, this would be the book for you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. This channel is dedicated towards teaching Einstein's general theory of relativity and related subjects. For any further queries or suggestions, feel free to write at generalrelativityexplained at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.